All right, guys, welcome to part three of designing a client site using you know, Webflow and Reloom to really speed up the process. So we've already gotten the client approved, or the client to approve the site. And so now we're gonna be moving into Webflow. So I'm gonna show you that transition and, and how fast this is going to, to speed you up um, as a designer, but also, I mean, how beneficial it is to the client as well. So we had to use the Reloom library in Figma to design, so we already know what components we're using and I'm gonna be referencing that here. And then I'm going to go ahead and show you all here in Webflow 2, getting that process started. So we're gonna jump right into Webflow. Um, quick note, I'm not gonna be teaching you how to use Webflow. I'm assuming you have some basic knowledge of that. Uh, Webflow themselves have a lot of great tutorials on how to do that as well. Um, but there will be a couple things I'll, I'll go over in here. So first, Reloom has their clonable project in here. And you can go ahead and clone it, and it's already going to give you the, the style guide here, which you can reference as well. So a lot of the styles are already be built, which is perfect. And like I mentioned, this is going to be using the client first system. So this is all in here. And this has all its benefits and everything as well, but I'm referencing it just in case there's anything that um, I'm kind of forgetting or missing. So I like to keep it open because um, I've only started recently using client first more often. And so I like to reference things. And what I do here too, is I keep another one open of the style guide in case there's anything I forget here as well. Okay. And so now we're also here on Reloom site and we're going to be pulling our components as well. And then I have our project open here too. Okay. And so now that we went ahead and built these, we can see, you know, header 15, testament of 17 and we should be able to copy and paste these, and if I'm not mistaken. No, maybe there's a, oh, well, let's see. Oh, yes, perfect. So you can copy and paste this in from Figma and get that exact component. All right, that's really gonna speed us up. So I already set up my project. I imported my fonts uh, that I'm gonna be using. And so we have Object Sans already set here. You're gonna to go to your body, make sure you click on body, all pages, and then set everything here. Cause that's gonna be, that's gonna set the foundation and create the base type for everything. So we wanna do that first. That way you're not creating all these classes all over the place. Um, and then I'm gonna to go to the style guide and just double check anything here and, and see how everything else is uh, looking. But I should have already done a good job matching up uh, everything here from what we designed in Figma. And so I shouldn't have to really make any adjustments, but I'll, I'll double check. The only thing I will have to do is actually make our colors, which I can do here. So on button, instead of it being black, um, I do actually need to go pull my colors, which I do have in Figma here. So it's gonna be, there we go. Okay, so here's my green I'm gonna use. I'm gonna pull that into Webflow here. So we'll go ahead and go to our color and then I'm gonna add this into here. Okay, so I got that color. So I'm gonna name it mold green. Okay. And then the second color I do need to add is actually going to be, I'll do it here since, since I already have that. It's gonna be this guy here. Okay. Now the buttons I can be this color, but I'm doing this just to add this. Um, it doesn't really look pink at all, but I'll adjust that later. Okay, so buttons are gonna be green and then that'll work there. So there aren't gonna be any borders on these buttons either. So I'll go ahead and remove those. And same thing, button secondary can keep the border. Okay. So the border and button secondary is actually gonna be our green. So that'll work. Okay, perfect. So we can start changing all of our styles in here. All right, so next thing is I'm gonna go ahead and have to bring in my assets as well. So I can actually, Grab those from Figma. So really the main thing is, is these guys, the flowers and logos here. Come on. Okay. 
So I can mark that for exports. I can do a PNG. That's perfect. Export vector. And I'm going to go ahead and take this to my project here. Now the next one I want to grab is a big one here. Export that. Export that. And then we also have the logo to bring out as well. So this one should be a vector two. Okay, and then we have these two. So drag these into here. Okay, we now have our files. Okay, so I'm gonna start by designing the home page. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna keep the page wrapper, but I am going to get rid of this guy here. So now we have just our everything in here. So um, I'm gonna reference this. So we have our navbar one. Okay, so I can copy that, go back to this here, nav bar one. Okay, and then copy this. And we will paste this in here. So we have nav bar one. Looks like it's a. Uh... Got the fix why well, that's, it's kind of messing up in there. Okay, so then we're gonna have our header. So again, copy this, copy this. Again, in the main wrapper, paste that. Then we're gonna have our testimonial next. Okay, so everything's starting to pop up in here. So layout 29. Copy this. So essentially I'm gonna keep just you know, copying everything in here. So gallery eight. Oops. Going out of order here. And lastly, our footer. Let's do our footer here and perfect. Okay. So now we have the whole, essentially the whole homepage in here. Okay. So I'm having a technical issue here on, on this side, and it's really just with the type that um, that we're working with here. For whatever reason, the web version is not not working out. So there's going to need to be some fixes and adjustments, but I'll do that later on. I'm not going to be getting into that right now. Okay, we're going to finish there. So we got the site set up essentially. Um, went ahead and. Uh, and put in the assets that I needed, but also um, went ahead and laid out the site as well, since it's you know pretty easy. We pulled everything from Reloom and kind of walked through that. So next, we're gonna be going over, or actually redesigning, or designing this thing to what we did in Figma. Yeah, but just so this video doesn't get extremely long, I'm gonna do that part and another video as well. So kind of phase this thing out. Um, but it's all gonna be coming out quick because this has to be done for the client. So we're just kind of going along the way and you're kind of seeing me do this thing real time too. So I'm gonna finish laying out the rest of the pages and then we're gonna move to design. So I'll see you on the next one.